Okay, so one of the things that I noticed, and when you buy your kit at Cleveland Tool, they're pretty awesome. I don't know if you can see that very well. Cleveland Tool. Um, they give you this little rivet gauge. Um, helps you know if you've set a rivet correctly. And I've, I never until this last week ever used these um, length indicators, but I was having problems with the horizontal stabilizer. These rivets, the rivets that are called out for are the, um, the AN470s four dash fours and for all of those basically all of the ones that attach these ribs to the spar um, and I was using those but I could never get the them smushed enough smushed enough to that they didn't fit through the hole but also thick enough that the this corner piece this little corner right here um, they, they have to be thicker than that little corner and so when you go over here and you measure these guys see the four the four it shouldn't fit over it which it doesn't and then I redid these so they they actually work and then you notice when I go on this guy it doesn't it's thicker than that little knob it's hard to see with the backlit stuff let's maybe see if i can do it this way see if this is a little bit better so as you go on here you see it doesn't it's thicker than that it's supposed to be and then it's supposed to not go in the hole and so that one doesn't go in the hole um but those are four um dash four dot five rivets um, and I think what happened is the 4-4s um, work if you don't um, prime stuff. But if you prime all of the pieces, I think you need a little bit extra. So it's uh, long enough that it can get a big enough head, shop head on it and be thick enough of a shop head. So I was looking at that. I was like, why did they call out the wrong one? Blah, 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 blah. I realized that's why you have this little setting right here. The for um, four dash four rivets, the um, length of the rivet should be just as long as that piece. And let me get a rivet here, and I'll kind of show you. So. 4-4 and 4-5, I'll pull one of each. So there's the 4, the 4-4, four, four, and then I got the 4.5. So here, let me set this up so you guys can see. Can you see that very well? I'll do it this way. Okay. So, as you put the piece through metal, oh, this is my scrap metal here. So let's say as you put this piece through the metal, my big old fat hands, pushing that guy through the metal, right? What you're supposed to do is since it's a four rivet, it needs to be that tall. Now that rivet will smush properly, but if you have one that's, let's say this guy, this one, when you look at it, that one would actually work too because it has to be bigger than that. But let me get a smaller one and show you kind of what was happening. So here we go. So let's use this example here. When we put this guy through, 
you'll notice that it is not tall enough. So this rivet, if I was putting it into this piece, it wouldn't have either a big enough shop head, a round, you know, smushed enough shop head, or it would be too skinny to fit on that corner. And so that's what these middle pieces are for on your little tool that measures your rivets. And what I had found when I was doing the ribs was the, the rivet, the 4-4 rivet for those ribs was just slightly less than that guy. And it, it was really close, um, but what I decided to do was use the 4-4.5 rivets, and that gave me a big enough shop head that was deep enough. So just FYI, and that's how you use the Cleveland Tool um, rivet gauge. Um, so I, I had always used the circle and the, the little thing here, but never really used the, the measuring point. But that's why those things are there, so use them. And... Hopefully that helps somebody. If you have any questions, always feel free to comment. Talk to you later. Bye.